So, Dr. Dizes, uh, welcome to Kanha. And uh, it's wonderful to have you in the studio. It's been a long time since you were in Kanha. Uh, how has it changed? Uh, what changes do you notice when you come here? I am shocked. I mean, the construction here, the amount of development here is almost not to recognize the place. I'm lost. I just could not find my way around. So it is very, very, very impressive. Very impressive. Uh, uh, this is an incredible community. I just took a lot of pictures, especially of the children's park, because uh, I'm really committed to bring my son to live here. He is a movie director like you of some fame. He has two of his movies went to Cannes. Oh, wow. And he got an Emmy. So he is really... Fantastic. He's a very established movie director and producer. So, But I wanted to move here with the family because I would like my grandchildren to grow here. So I'm, I was... I made a lot of pictures to send him to show him what this place is about. And I believe that Ghana is the escape for civilization as the world is falling apart. This is a place which everybody should come to see what life could be. Well, that is a huge statement coming from you. And as I know, you've probably been in all parts of the world. and 58 countries. Wow. And for you to decide that you would like your grandchildren to grow up in Kanha, what makes this place so special? I was just telling Harpreet, brother Harpreet, that it is interesting, my case. I'm going to be lecturing here on Saturday, Sunday. And I told him when we corresponded that I'm coming to rest, so please don't make me work too hard. I'll give one hour and a half and one hour and a half and that's it. I'm telling you, otherwise I'm canceling my trip. I said, okay, 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 okay. After being here three hours, I told him, what can I do for you? Just tell me I'm available 100% of the time. What happened? There is something in the climate here, in the atmosphere, in the vibrations that makes you want to give. You automatically feel, wow. You know, it is subconscious even, subconscious. Uh, Everything is a vibration. When I travel all over the world, when I land in an airport, I feel it on my back, the vibrations of the city. I can tell you what kind of a city it is. I feel the city, you know. You feel New York. And if you go to Montana, you feel Montana, you know. Here you feel Ghana. You feel peace. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Just go with the flow. Just give of yourself. Everything will be given back. I mean, there is a sense of freedom and love. And I would like my children to, my grandchildren to grow in an environment like that. An environment where they're loved not only by their parents and grandparents, but everybody on the street. You know, everybody around, all their neighbors. I mean, you feel it, you feel it. I was uh, in a in a car driving, driven from Pearl somewhere, and the driver was stopping. Everybody was walking. Says, "Would you like a ride?" I mean, where does it happen in the world? Where so does true. it happen? So, so this is what's special. It's a very giving, loving atmosphere here. You feel it in the trees. You feel it in the flowers. You feel it. The garden for the children. The park for the children is mind-blowing, the artwork on the floor. I mean, wow, it's a heart-opening environment. And I wrote everybody, guys, you have to come here to see what life can be. You yourself have uh, had a journey with meditation, which could be called something like inner integration. How did you discover meditation, or were you always inclined towards... Okay, I'll tell you this one. I'm a Holocaust survivor. And... The byproduct of that is that 
I did not love. I was scared to love. Because you saw the worst that I humanity. Said, no, I saw the people I love disappear. Hmm. So I was afraid if I loved them, they would disappear. I had I I a psychological problem. I went through a lot of psychotherapy because of that. I could not love. I just no love. Oh, love. Oh, my God. You know, no, no love. No love. Um, but I was suffering. Because if you don't love and you don't like anybody love you, you're quite miserable. And I decided I need to do something about it. So I went to psychotherapy, all kinds of therapy. Nothing worked. Nothing worked. And then one of my associates, Sunil Tovedi, told me, there is a certain meditation that I'm joining now. And I told him, leave, leave me alone. I tried all meditations, by the way. I tried with my putting my tongue to the top of my head, my mouth, you know, or focusing on here and focusing on a, on a candle. I tried all meditations, could not do it. I said, so I told him, leave me alone, please. He says, but this is a different one. Why, how different? It focuses on the heart. So I'm game because I needed it. I needed it, focus on the heart. So yes, heartfulness changed my life. Mm -hmm.